Hey guys, this is Circuit one So, I decided to actually buy some insect eggs over the weekend. And by doing so, I wanted to actually grow, uh, like, butterflies or moths. I wanted to try something different, uh, rather than making reviews or plants, but this is going to be a review about a certain type of moth. So, um, I got this, as you can tell, Royal Mail from England. So, if um, you've never seen before um, a moth called... The Atlas Moth, or Atticus, Atticus Atlas, something like that, I forgot the name. But these are them. I got probably like half a dozen. Now, they're not really supposed to actually be shipped here to the United States. They're actually, like, if there's a, a lab that grows them here, that's okay. But they're not supposed to actually be shipped from Europe to here, so. Uh, I'm actually going to see today, this is actually like a surprise opening. I'm going to see if they actually made it through importing, and well, importation, so. Alright, so that's the guy there, who I bought it from, United Kingdom. Let's go ahead and open this. It's, it's kind of blurry. Alright. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, wow. So I guess that, uh, these are them. How neat. Now, I didn't actually pay him. He said, only pay me when um, you know they're going to hatch. So that's, that was very nice of him. So, that's, that's him. That's my name. Was, oh, shit, I probably shouldn't have cut that, right? Okay, so... So that's basically it. So... Um, he basically says, once they've hatched, go ahead and let me know. Let me just uh, go ahead and and uh, take these out so you guys can see them. Okay, so here they are, the Atlas moth eggs. There's probably about a dozen, um, dozen and more, and there are probably about two dozen. So, as you can tell, they've been put in with cotton swabs to make sure they stay stable during the, the shipment process. Now, I've never actually grown any caterpillars from seed before, so this could be something completely new. Um, I'm going to do a setup where I actually take the aquarium upstairs and I'm actually going to make it humid in there. I'll show the process of that and how I put them in there. Now I heard that the leaves that they feed on is either like citrus or um, they like, I heard they really like privet leaves to eat on, but I think I'm going to try citrus. I'm going to give them like a bunch of different leaves to see which ones they like the most from the nursery. So anyway, that is the Atlas Moth eggs that I'll be growing soon. I can't wait. And... Their wingspan, when they get older, is about, like, almost a foot and a half long. It's it's crazy. I'd say probably about 12 inches. I'm kind of being too crazy about that estimate. But, but yeah, that's um, I can't wait to to get them growing. So, anyways, stay, up, uh, stay posted for more videos of my Atlas Moths and how they're progressing, and we'll see if they hatch. This is Bonzo Arca 1. Please like and subscribe up above, and... Uh, I'll see you later for my next videos. This is Bonsai Record 1. Thank you for watching.